All right, so this video is going to be about this plant right here. And this plant, I don't know its botanical name offhand, but this plant is called the Velvet Leaf Plant. I'll put the correct name in the title and description, but that's what the plant is called. And I'm going to show you, right now you'll take an early look at it, but I'm going to shoot this video once this plant matures and gets seed pods, because I really want you to see the seed pods so you can identify it correctly and know that you are indeed encountering the velvet leaf plant. So this is what the leaf looks like. All right, and it's very soft. When you put your hands on it, it feels just like cotton or a cotton velvety type of material. It's very soft. A lot of people refer to this plant as a toilet paper plant because this is the plant you want to hunt down when you have to use something for toilet paper. This is one of the plants people recommend using because it's very soft and it works just like toilet paper, if not better. Yes, I have used this in, in a, a camping situation and it did work. I happened to come across some, figured I'd try it for myself and see if it works. Picked up, pulled off like two or three leaves, kind of bunched them together and took care of business and it did work indeed. So, yes, you can use that for toilet paper if you need to. It's just another resource to know about. But it does have these seed pods that are really interesting looking. It's very ornate in, in nature. So I'm going to let this plant mature. And then once we get to that mature stage, I'll shoot the video again. And you'll see it later on in the season. So I'll be seeing you in about a month. All right, so I wanted to show you the pods to, the, to this plant. I don't know if I should say what it is because I don't know if I'm doing this as an identification video. But I do want to show you what the pods look like. And they look just like this. That's what they look like. And there's a night, they're nicely filled with seeds. And it's a small plant. Now this plant can get huge. And I did have a couple in here that were getting pretty big. And I think I ripped them out. Not intentionally, I did want them to grow, but because I'm clearing out parts of my garden so I can plant my fall crops, I think I ripped a few of them out. Unfortunately, I ripped them all out, but nevertheless, that is what the pods look like. All right.